Hi guys. In this video, I'm quickly going to show you how to create a cutout on any object. Now this is going to be a short video, so you can either follow along as I explain the process, or you can grab a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and watch as I go through the steps. Before we start, I should say that I will not be using any add-ons here. I know there are some great add-ons that help make the process much faster. However, they all cost money, and there are many reasons that someone might not want to use them. Especially since the cutout process I plan to show you only requires one type of modifier, the Boolean modifier. Moreover, those add-ons that have a cutout modifier under the hood use the same steps that I'm going to be showing here. First off, I'm not a monster, so I'm not going to delete our default cube. In fact, I will make it the main character for this tutorial. I'm also going to add a bevel to it, just to make things look nicer. It's amazing how simply adding a bevel suddenly brings the object to life. In addition to my main object, I'm going to need another object to tell Blender what region I need to cut out. So I'm going to add a new cube, move it outside my main cube, and scale it down. I'm also going to change its settings to be shown as wireframe. This will give me a better view of what's happening in the scene. Finally, I'm going to rename this cube to Cutter. Now, I'm going to add the first of the two boolean modifiers that I need for the entire process. So I'm going to go back and select my main cube, and I'm going to add a boolean modifier to it. Set the type to difference, set the target to be the cutter object, and select the option that says self. Selecting that self option here will avoid problems in the future when I make my cutter object more intricate. I'm also going to move the boolean modifier to the top of the stack. As you can see, I now have a hole on the main cube. I can select my cutter and move this hole around. In the next step, I'm going to fill this hole with a separate object that is shaped exactly like the hole itself with the addition of some bevels around it. So now, I'm going to select my main cube and duplicate it. For easy reference, I will rename this object to Duplicate. Then I'm going to look into the boolean modifier of this duplicate object, and I'm going to change the type of the boolean to intersect. And just like that, I have a nice cutout on my main cube. By selecting the cutter object, I can move it around or even scale the cutout. In addition to that, I can also select the cutter and go into edit mode. Here, I can add more details. For example, I'm going to scale the cutter. Then I'm going to duplicate its mesh and rotate that by 90 degrees. Now, if you remember from before, in the Boolean modifier, I had selected the option labeled Self. And as a result of that selection, I am not running into any problems caused by overlapping of the meshes that make up the cutter object. I can go even further and add a cylinder to my cutter.
You can see that, with only a few extra clicks, the model immediately looks more intricate than it was just a few seconds ago. At this point, you will notice that I did not have to apply any of the modifiers to get the result I wanted, meaning that the entire process is indeed a non-destructive way of creating a cutout. And what's nice about this non-destructive workflow is that it gave me the ability to quickly and easily make changes to the shape of the cutout. So that's it guys. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and enjoyed your coffee in the process. Let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like this.